Okay. Hi, this is Isabella on my first video. I'm here with Ballerina. She loves to do crafts. So, I'm right now I'm going to be teaching the viewers, which are you, what or like how to make this, which is cheese. Cheese, packaged cheese, like string cheese. And then packaged celery for your dolls, the doll size. Celery comes in two different colors, dark and light. Yep. And then you can make anything. These are grapes, but for this video I'm going to make, be making fruit snacks. Carrots. I will not be making carrots. I'm just showing you anything you can do. I'm just showing you a basic technique. And then these are potato chips. And what you're going to need for... But for first, we're doing the fruit snacks, which is the same process as the grapes. So. Okay. So I already have some beads. You can use beads. And I'm using these beads. They're like crystal beads. They work fine for me. They're good. They're pretty. So what you're going to need is tape. Your beads. Tape. Beads, tape, and then scissors. And that's it. So first you're going to grab your tape. The clear scotch tape or shipping tape. Or the duck branch. Okay, and about like it's sticky, so and if it's sticking to your hand and you can't get it off, you can just get one of your beads, push it on, and then you're no longer touching it. Oh. If it folds over, you can just undo it. So that's nice. And then more tape. And then you slightly layer it on your last piece of tape. See? So now it's thicker. And I have one bead on it. Now you can just stick them in the middle. Not too close to the edge, though. You can stick them on and make pattern. You can make patterns and stuff. It's basically like laminating. Yeah. Okay. So I added my last bead. And there's now some beads sticking to two pieces of tape. You see that? Let's see now. Okay. So huh? I'm gonna get more of your tape. Same size, and you're just going to layer it over your first piece of tape, just like that. No pushing, just laying it on. Okay, and just flip it over and just set it onto that. And then you can get, so now it's this, it's not pushed down. Now. Just gently push down. Try not to get any air bubbles, but you'll you'll probably get some. It's okay if you do. I don't like it when I do so. And just move your fingers around it. And it's this. So you're gonna get your scissors. Get scissors if you have them. Or an exacto knife, or, but I prefer scissors. And then just trim around the edges like so. Like that. And you got your fruit snacks. And they are doll sized. So. There. Good. So. And then you can just throw 
away the excess, the excess, or you can do like something with it. So fruit seeds. Those are done. Now we shall be doing. Which one do we want to do? And just tap up the beach and just right where you can't see it. And then next we will be doing our celery. So today I will be doing this kind of celery. It's a little darker and this one's lighter. And you can mix them up. That's fine too. So I got some craft foam. You can get this at Michael's or craft places where you usually get this. You want them semi-thin. Look at the camera because I have to look at this. Make sure I don't cut myself. And then just cut it in strips. And yep, that will be it. Excess you can use for another one. Like this will make a whole nother thing. You only need about half. So next you have all of your little almost silly sticks. Line them up on the edges like that. And then just snip it off. So there's a nice cut like that. Nice and straight cut. Or you could do it like a slanted cut. But I like them like this way. It's your choice. It's your thing. So, yeah. Next, those are about the right size. But I think I'm going to trim them a little. And I'm going to make them like that. Make them a little different size. Okay. Next you have your carrots. No, not carrots. Oh, sorry. Um, you have your celery sticks. Tape. And this is, these are easy crafts. This is the second way to tape them off. Get a longer piece of tape. Before it was like half. That's the point. I'll tell you how many inches it is. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven inches long. So ten or eleven inches, whatever you want. And it can be ten or eleven inches. Same thing, and slightly just layer it. And I'm just gonna smooth it like that. And then if it's stuck to your hand and you can't get it off, it folds over, it's fine. You just get one piece of celery and push on it like that. So you have a doubled tape with one celery on it. Now you'll just layer it, whatever. Take the layering you want. And just put it on. And if you feel like you want more on there, you can always go ahead and just cut some more. It's totally fine. You don't get it all into one thing. It's fine. Don't like freak out. It's not like you can see really well. Okay. You can always make more. If you don't have bubble. So I'm just going to cut those in. Now I have more celery sticks. I'm just going to layer them up, make them look like they're silly. And then have at least one piece of it touching the tape. It's okay if it's layered and bumpy. It doesn't have to be flat. What's the point? It's not going to be flat. It's silly. There we go. I'm just going to stick with that and do a couple more. You can hold it too. These are easy crafts. Yeah. Okay. See, now that I placed 
most of my celery things. Celery, because I have more. I can make as much as more. And you can make this as big as you want. It just depends on you. So, now that you've done it halfway, you can put it on the ground, get the bottom of it, fold it over. Gently smush it from your finger on the end. Squish down, flip it, flip it up, put your finger, this down. Now you just squish it all together. Now, there we go. Now you can This one is bigger, I'm going to say. Oh, it's on me. Okay. Okay. So there we go. You got your doll size celery. This one's bigger, the one I just made. But it's fine. See? And then there you go. Have fun with that. Those are also like the same size. Or smaller. Bigger, I mean. Now... We will be making string cheese. So you can have, they're both pretty much all size, as Ballerina will demonstrate. My first one is smaller, and it's an inch and a half long. And this one is two inches. I prefer the inch and a half. Because it's like more the right size. But you can go either. You can just, if you feel it's the right one. So, yeah. So, all you're going to need for this is some glue. I'm using this glue liquid. Um, you can use white paper. And then all you have to do. Just start rolling it. Start a roll off. You want it pretty tightly, but not like, yeah. And once you've rolled it part way, okay, sorry. So roll it, and I suggest having your glue open, because I didn't. Okay. So just so it doesn't do this on you, you're gonna roll it part way. Get your glue. Just a little glue. Squeeze them up. Okay. And then mine's like a glue stick, so it's fun. You twist it and it's glue. So you can just rub that on the surface like that. So, and if it you mess up, just go back and roll it again. Is it fun? It's totally fun. I'm just gonna hold it. You can use posting notes are good, or you can paint these. Painting is good. You can glitter your cheese sticks. I don't care. It's kind of cool glitter, but this one's not. So there you go. There 
there's your cheese stick, but it's not wrapped. You can leave it non-wrapped. If you leave it non-wrapped, you should use, um, you can use this. It's called Mod Podge. And you brush it on here so it'll last longer, but you don't have to do it if you're, you don't have to do it if you're going to pack. So get your tape. This one's going to only use two pieces of tape, not four. And place it in the middle. Get your top layer. Top layer tape. Put your cheese stick on it. And then just put the second one on. What I do is I push it on the edges. On the ends. That and just push it. Yeah, that. Okay, so it's like this. Is that in the camera? There we go. So you're just going to trim it now, but don't trim it too short because it can pop out. I don't want that. Flying cheese sticks. When I was experimenting with this, um, the cheese stick went flying over to the end of the table. So, cut. I don't really know what to say to you. I'm looking in, looking in the camera and do this without looking at the cheese stick. <laughs> Now your cheese stick is done. Packaged and all nice. So, yeah, we're doing one more. This is a long video. I know. It's my first video. So, yeah, it's my first video. We're doing this. I will be showing you how to do steak chips. What you're going to do first, cut up some. like this and craft them. It can also be in paper, but when it's in foam, it gives it a little more, like, shows how big it is. Let me go too big. And they don't have to be perfect circles because they're chips. Have you ever seen a sh ch chip with a perfect circle? Well, you probably have, but it's not my point. So... Make a couple of those, like five. Five is a good number for it. There we go. So I have four of those. I'm going to make like two more. Um, on my next video, I will be. Stuff probably when I be decorating, but it'll all have to do something with my flowering over there. It'll all, it will all have to. It'll all have something to do with it. She, my show is about American Girl. I might just be decorating, then they're showing you what you can use for it. Cause I use the, my resources for it and stuff. Yeah. One way to do this is you can get like a glue bottle, Elmer's glue can work, and you can just put a dot on the edge and stick them together so it's like a group of chips in your hand. And you can glue a little like rainbow and band to it and it all sticks together. You can glue a rainbow and band to this and then when it's dry slip it into her hand looks like she's holding chips. So that's one way. Oh no, it's on my hand. And just stick that in all together. But I'm not going to do that. What we're doing. Okay.
nothing. You can just glue, glue your chips together. You can, I'm going to glue a um, rainbow. Or some string. String will work. So, yeah, I told you it's my first video. What else can I tell you? I'm probably bored watching this. Okay. I'm gonna fast forward through this process. And then just put it like that. And then on the bottom, you can get the string. I have just like needlepoint thread. You can cut that. Place that in the middle rung. Put some glue there. There we go. Now don't touch that. It's gotta dry. Oh, I touched it. Okay. This is the end of my video. We have made chips, cheese, cheese sticks, celery. And fruit snacks. So go wild with this idea. Do anything you want. Like, I've done grapes, I've done carrots. Carrots are just like the celery, but they're all different ways. Let me look at that if you want. And here's the packaged chips. Grapes, cheese, celery, the whole. So, this is the end of my video. Thanks for watching. I'll have a pictures on pictures on it. Pictures showing like these on my doll. So, thanks for watching. Turn this off.